been taking, many of us have been taking these classes for quite, quite a long time, some longer than. We really are trying to share what we have learned and what we, we've, and what we have felt over time and the changes that we have been through, the positive changes we've been through. And so that's really what it's all about. And tonight's topic actually speaks to exactly that. And it's recreating yourself. And I was thinking maybe a better term, but I'll use one or the other during this uh, next 20 minutes, is reinventing yourself. And to me, what that means is, is that we are, we've already are created, we are who we are, but we can work with ourselves and we can, we can kind of mold ourselves as if we're an artist, you know, making ourselves better, making ourselves more peaceful, more content, more fulfilled in life, and just like an artist. And I was thinking about a, a friend of mine. I went to see her, her studio some years ago. She was a wonderful sculptress. And it was, she was working on one, one piece, which was like a horse. I remember it was a horse, a beautiful horse. But it took months for her to mold it and change it and work with it. And so that's kind of how I see us, you know, in terms of reinventing ourselves and recreating ourselves is that, that we, can, we can become more of who we are, who we were meant to be. And I know that, again, you might be thinking, oh, you know, I got enough to do right now. Life is difficult enough just getting through a day, dealing with all the stresses of, of this whole virus and everything life, you know, everything that's going on. And, and who needs this, right? Well, I just want to tell you, you do need it or you could need it. I shouldn't. I have no right to tell you anything, of course, but because it'll be of help to you in your life. You're changing anyway. You have changed, right, over the last few months. Some of you have changed in a, in a good way where you think, gee, you know, I'm happy being home, I'm content, I've learned new skills, I've learned some, maybe even a new hobby. I wish I could tell you that. I wish I could tell you I've learned a new hobby. I had a list of things I was going to learn, but oh well. And, um, but others of you, and I'm, I'm told this, you know, even just by friends and friends of friends, and as you are, I'm sure, have had a really hard time with this, you know, it's because it's just changed their whole life. You know, people that are used to going out and they're used to working out and, and going to restaurants and running here and running there, and they can't do that. And so it's been, you know, some for some people, it's been a good experience, and many people, it's not such a good experience. But the whole thing is, is that no matter what it is we're going through now, we can add, add really some, some real joy to our lives is if we begin to see that we can begin to grow and we can begin to cultivate our lives and cultivate, really to me it's actually cultivate happiness and cultivate growth in our lives. And I, I want to share a story, which is my own, again, my own personal story which is when I started, you know, I got on this path, not even knowing I was on a path, but I started meditating and going to the Brahma Kumari Center so many years ago, and I started to feel different. And I'd say, I don't know why I'm coming here. I would tell the teacher that. I don't know why I come here. And she'd say, well, there must be something you're getting here or you wouldn't keep coming back. And I thought, well, that's true. And what I was coming for was I was starting to feel better. I was starting to feel more moments of peace, less moments of anxiety. And as time went on, I began to see that I was different from the person that I was before. I didn't get as agitated so quickly or snap at somebody like some kind of a, a snapping turtle, you know? I mean, if somebody you know, looked at me wrong or said something wrong, I mean, I wasn't the worst person, but you know, I had my moments, like I'm sure you all have your moments as well, right? And I began though to see the change. And I've been working on change ever since, you know? I don't know of any sculpture. I mean, maybe Michelangelo, I don't know how Michael long Michelangelo worked on, on his work, but um, that's worked as long as uh, me and I'm sure a lot of other uh, meditators where we're constantly working and trying to create change for the better. And again, what it is is, <clears throat> It's becoming our true self, our higher self. And that higher self is about something more than we are and something greater than we are. But I guess you could say it's still us, you know, excuse me. <coughs> it's still us, 
It's our higher being that we were born and meant to be. And the more that we become aware of who we truly are, the better life becomes. So I want you right now to just take a look at yourself and just maybe go within, because that's for the Brahma Kumaris and I'm sure other meditators, how it all begins is to go within, <coughs> excuse me, and look within and see what it is possibly that you might like to change in your life. Is there something in your life? Is it, as I was saying about myself, something where I get agitated? Or is it something maybe with your family that you don't really take the time to be with them like you should? Or is it that you want to feel love but you don't always feel so loving for everybody or maybe for anybody? So just sit here for a minute or at least a few, few seconds, right? And let's go within together. Okay, let's just go within and just feel that you are this beautiful spirit within your body, actually within, inside your head, between the eyes, inside is that light, that energy, that consciousness. And just focus on that. Focus on that and just begin to feel lighter begin to feel as if all of the problems of your life and the world are just floating away and just going away and that you're becoming something different, somebody, a being that's more light, a being that's easier, a being that responds to situations, not reacts to situations. <coughs> and just feel the peace inside. I am peace, I am light, I am a being of light, a spiritual being who is capable of changing, of creating a new me, or should I say an old me, someone that I remember from a long time ago, somebody maybe more, more enlightened within me somebody that more accepted life, accepted things the way they were and or the way they are, someone who was just enthusiastic and open to anything. It's almost as if I'm becoming a child again, a beautiful, excited, exuberant child that loves life and does not get caught up in the sadness or the difficulties around them. A child that just lives in the moment. Let me be that child. Let me be who I truly am, a child of light, an enlightened child that purely enjoys everything, enjoying life, enjoying situations even when they're difficult enjoying the challenges of life. Let me just enjoy. Let me experience. Get away from what's going on in my head. All the thoughts, thoughts coming in, thoughts going out. Negative thoughts, thoughts of dislike, thoughts of fear. Let me just forget all of that and just enjoy this moment right now and be who I was meant to be, a beautiful being of light, a beautiful being of happiness, of, of just sheer enjoyment. Let me enjoy this moment and from now on every moment, if I can just hold on to this experience of light and love. I am that being and I can become that being. All I have to do is be aware that I can change whatever it is that I need to change is possible because all things in life are truly possible. 
everything is good. Om Shanti. So, come back. Come back to yourself. And I hope you just feel a bit better. And this is a process, you know, of changing. And we always say that it's check and change. But first, I think we need to have our vision before we're checking, because we don't know what to check. But to have a vision of how you see yourself in the future. Do you see yourself as one who possibly is out there helping others? Do you want to do more to help others? I know in this wave of so many problems, there are many who are saying they want to do something. They want to help. And, you know, often people say they don't have time or they don't know who to help. But if you have that thought that that would make you more fulfilled or happier in life, that even if you help one person, you are reinventing yourself. You're becoming a helper rather than saying, I don't have time. I was at a meeting recently, and um, the man that has gotten involved with the project is the a CEO of a company, very distinguished company. And he has now chosen to get very involved with this project, which is really helping the community and helping the arts. And someone asked him, how did you get involved? And he said, I always said no. You know, I always said, I'm just too busy. I'm too busy. You know, I'm running a company. I don't have the time. And he never had the time because that's how he felt. And then one day, and I think it was really pretty recently, he said, he woke up and he said, I do have the time to help others. I do have the time. I can make that time. And now he's on board and he's really involved with this entire project. And he was just smiling the whole way, you know, the whole time and saying that um, we often limit ourselves, don't, don't we? We say we can't, we won't, we don't have enough money, we don't. We limit ourselves and so we're not really being who we truly are and who we were meant to be. And again, going back to our childhood, even if we had some pain in our childhood or difficulty, there were those moments where I think we had a glimpse of who we truly were, the best being the best that we can, being the happiest that we can. And so it's good to kind of try to return to your childhood, try to look into yourself and, and see what it is you have, what strengths do you have? Just take a look at who you are because sometimes we're just beating up on ourselves. And I know I'm really guilty of that, you know? I think of, I didn't take care of this, and I didn't do this, and why didn't I contact that person? Maybe they weren't feeling well. And often, I think it's like guilt, you know, wanting to do these things and not be getting the chance to. And though, as I'm telling you about this uh, CEO, he finally realized he did have the time. So again, it begins with a, I think, a really determined thought that yes, I can do this, I do have the time. And you know what happens when you say you have the time? You know what happens, right? Time opens up for you. And all of a sudden, there's more time to do everything. And sometimes we're just so caught up in doing things we really don't wanna do or we don't need to do. And uh, we can give up some of those things. And so again, it's starting to prioritize. If we want to, if we really want to recreate ourselves or reinvent who we are and it doesn't have to be something drastic it's like i said with the artist it's a it's a, a process and i think it's like a never-ending process and there are things that come to kind of take you away from that you know and uh, kind of stop the growth sometimes we're growing in big spurts you know like plants and then other times it's just like drop by drop but think about it if you just keep going, you know, and keep changing and thinking about what it is that you need to do in your life to change and to create change in your life and powerful, positive change, it's going to happen. It's guaranteed that it's going to happen and you're going to feel good. So now just kind of sit again, you know, while well, you might be already sitting and 
visualize. Visualize your highest self, your beautiful, bright self where you're shining, where you're, you're floating and you're flying and there's enthusiasm about what, about what you're doing. Even if you're not doing much, there's a quiet enthusiasm, a very slow, gentle enthusiasm about life where you can just sit and enjoy. Enjoy the space around you. Enjoy nature. Maybe it's just one tree around you outside. And just look at it, whatever it is that you're enjoying. Maybe it's um, a pot of something that you're cooking and not, you know, cook so quickly and you don't even, you're in a rush to get it done. But again, slow down the process. Slow it down, and as you slow down, things, life around you begins to slow down. And there's not as much pressure, pressure to do things. And something else happens when you, I think when we begin to change and we realize we can change, life starts to help to support us in this mission, you know? It really does, the drama, the, the, we call it in Raja Yoga meditation, the drama of life, the script that we were all born with, um, we all have a script that we've come into this world with, and uh, even that goes to support us and to to make life easier for us. And did you ever uh, just feel kind of stressed, like you're trying to get something done and you don't even know where to start, but you just stop and you kind of uh, just, again, sit and get quiet, and then all of a sudden, the idea comes. You know, it just comes, or for me, sometimes it comes from someone else. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle it. And then I leave it for a while. I go out. Maybe I talk to some people. And then the idea can come from someone else, something that you needed to do in your life. So I think it's important to listen, to stop first, quiet the mind, not all the time, but during the day, at least once a day, at least, you know. And then listen, listen to those around you. Don't just listen half listening, you know, um, but listen to positive things. Listen to things that empower you, that make you inspire you. And the things that you feel like you don't really need to listen to, um, one of our senior, senior spiritual teachers, an amazing teacher, our sister Mohini, Mohini Didi, who's been giving us classes every night for the last few months online, she said that she hears so much from people complaining and upset about other people. And she said she hears, she listens, but she doesn't really listen. Um, she just sends good vibrations to them. She doesn't want to get caught up in their drama. And so she listens, and often she does help just by her vibrations and her energy, and she will give advice. But mainly, people are just complaining a lot, you know, about things in life. Not everybody, but certain, you know, people. And she just tries to send love and send vibrations and send power to that, to that soul. And then that soul will, will know what that soul has to do. So to me, this is all part of the process, you know. It's all part of the process, the part of the journey that we're on, this beautiful journey. And I know it's, we're in a rough leg right now, right? A difficult leg of the journey. It's like we're on a a sailboat and all of a sudden beautiful it was gorgeous and the sunlight and we were thinking god this is just like amazing and then the storm hits and we don't even know how we're going to survive right and we wonder if we're ever going to get out of this horrible storm and and we do we get out of the storm ends and you know why because everything changes nothing stays the same today's a storm tomorrow is the beautiful beautiful sunlight and and a golden day where everything is perfect and so envision yourself as maybe even perfect your perfect self your beautiful self your your angelic self your highest self and and just enjoy that and, and maybe have a thought about one thing you can do today to get closer to that beautiful self that you truly are and I thank you for joining and I hope you'll share, just try to share so that others can uh, partake of what we have here on the Brahma Kumari site, the Facebook site, and FaceTime. Nope, nope, sorry. Facebook site, get mixed up every once in a while. 
on uh, the Miami site. So share and uh, let others know that there are lots of teachers. If you, if you resonate more with one, then there's another one, or there's lots of teachers that are just waiting to, to teach you, you know, or, or share with you, I would say. Share their experiences and, their, and the wisdom that they've received as a result of being with the Brahma Kumaris. So again, thanks so much for being with me. Om Shanti.